welcome back to my channel, I'm Magnesium. So as you can see I've got my hair dyed, that's why I look slightly different today. So this isn't actually the hair colour that I was going for, but then you know, I was going for this hair colour, but then it is what it is at the end of the day, you know, I have to bear with this hair colour for the next few months or so. So sorry for not uploading for the past few weeks again, because I was quite busy with the UCAT preparation. So. Obviously I'm just taking the UCAT because it gives me something to do, something academic to do and it's made me feel like I found purpose in life once more. So I might not even go to medical school at the end of the day but I just still want to sit the UCAT next year in 2021 just as sort of like a backup plan. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to study immunology effectively. So as you all know immunology, I wouldn't say it's difficult subject but I would definitely say it's quite complex because there is a lot of stuff going on I would say like there are different immune systems you know the innate immune system the adaptive immune system there are different cell types a lot of them have very similar functions as well like neutrophils macrophages they do phagocytosis and there are different cytokines different molecules so there's just a lot of stuff going on so it's just really really complex but what I've found about studying immunology is that we should first focus on the big picture, so like the overview of the entire immune system, like we first understand what's in an immune system, what's adaptive immune system, and then we go into the details. Don't go into details like straight away, otherwise it's quite difficult because you, you need to understand the big picture first. So today I'm going to share with you guys three tips that I've discovered um, to tackle immunology and some other complex ideas or subjects. So the first tip is to actually summarise information onto one piece of A3 sized poster paper like this. This poster that I've created in year two basically. So this poster I've created in year two when I was studying immunology, like I said, I find immunology quite complex, like quite, quite complicated because a lot of stuff is going on, right? So what I found is that you must actually understand the overview of what immunology is about. Obviously this applies to all other subjects as well. Whenever you find them quite difficult, try not to go into the details straight away, but sort of understand the big picture first. Once you've understood the big picture, it's just much easier to go into the details. So you know how lecture notes are actually quite scattered, you know, for each lecture probably there are like 40 slides per lecture and really information is quite all over the place and if you want to find certain information it's quite difficult and it's not really very summarised. So everything is just sort of all over the place and it's just really difficult to study. So just try to summarise the information from the lecture notes onto one piece of A3 sized poster paper. So try to put down those unfamiliar bits or the important bits, but not too many details onto this paper. So I personally find it much easier to absorb the information and just I have a better grasp of the concept. So obviously you don't want to use A4 size paper like the normal size paper because it's just really really small size and you can't really put a lot of information down there and you don't want to use anything larger than an A3 size because then it will be quite bulky and just inconvenient to carry around so I think A3 size paper is the best size so try to summarize information from the lecture notes into one single piece of A3 size paper so utilize both sides of them as well the second tip is to use different colours on your poster, for example, like this and like this. So for different parts, use different colours. You don't want to use one single colour, otherwise it'd be just one single colour and it's just really difficult to find relevant information and it's just visually more stimulating if you use different colours. And I personally think that if you make your notes more colourful, you'll be more motivated to study your notes as well. So this is my poster, here for CD4 cells as you can see I'm using blue colour and here if I'm talking about effector CD4 cells I use purple colour, as you can see there are different T cell types and 
the cytokines they produce. Here, if I'm talking about B cells, I use green colour. And here, if I'm talking about CD8 cells, I use black colour. So I use Muji markers to create my posters. Can you see it? I'm actually using the product showcase settings. So this is not an ad, but Muji, if you're watching this, I don't mind any sponsors. And I just personally think, you know, Muji markers are so fabulous. You know, you get to create so colourful notes and it just motivates you more to create more notes and study your notes. And the third tip that I can give you is that you should make your notes big. Okay, so make your words big like this, at least of this size. You don't want to make your notes of this size. So these are the notes for this video actually. So you really want to make your notes bigger because it's just easier to look at and it's easier to find relevant information if you have to look for it quickly. So these are three tips that I've given you to study immunology effectively or any other subjects effectively. So summarise your lecture notes onto one piece of A3 size poster paper as well as using different colours to create your poster and also making your font bigger. So a lot of people say, you know, study smarter, not harder. But I say study smarter and harder because there's no point in using the wrong study method or maybe study methods that aren't suitable for you. Even if you're studying harder, in the long run you're not actually retaining much of the information that you've learnt. And there's no point of studying smarter, for example, creating posters like this, but not reviewing them regularly. So study smarter and harder, and in that order. So thank you very much for watching, I hope this video was somewhat helpful or at least motivate you more to study smarter and harder and so I probably won't be uploading any more videos this year so I'll probably be uploading next month and I wish I could share more but I can't share more at this point of time but you'll see in the future. In the meantime, hope you guys have a lovely Christmas and happy early New Year's. So don't forget to like, comment on, and share my videos if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and goodbye.